everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment. I've got Matthew with me tonight and happy new years. You guys, I hope you guys had a great new year's. We filmed this last night. New Year's. Can you tell? Yes, we are. What gave it away? We're two hours and 45 <laughs> minutes away from our New Year's. This is our New Year's Eve, which you're watching on New Year's Day. With so your hangover, but that's okay. No judgment here. Enjoy the future. It's all good. Yes. Um, yeah, so we had plans uh, tonight. This this wasn't it. <laughs> this is plan B. <laughs> so um, funny enough, it's rare for Matthew and I to be together on New Year's. Uh, for those of you who Fair don't enough. know, for those of you who don't know, Matthew is a stand-up comedian. Uh, he's been doing it for a very long time, and he's a very long time. <laughs> it's, it's a it's good usually thing. It's a positive. It's a good thing. Um, and yeah, very funny. Check it out if you haven't seen his show or any clips. Uh, What's, what's your what's your handle again? <laughs> I'm trying to give you a, I'm trying to give you a plug here. MatthewMurray.ca. That's the one. I was gonna say Comic Matt Murray, it's okay. but I'm, I'm not sure. My, I'm gonna splice my own comedy clip right here. There you go. We'll learn new things about each other. Yeah, first thing she learned about me, uh, you can't smother a man in his sleep if he's wearing a CPAP machine. <laughs> you gotta tie a knot in the hose. That's <laughs> Um, Wasn't that hilarious? Yeah. Uh, but he didn't have a show this year. Normally he has a show. Normally he's out on the road traveling, making everyone laugh and have a fantastic New Year's by himself on stage while I stay at home with our daughter. Um, but no show this year. So our plan was, we were like, wow, can we actually go out on a New Year's together? Like, is that possible? And we made plans. We were like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go out. Let's have a nice dinner. Just the two of us. We'll get my parents to babysit. Have a nice dinner, the two of us. Then we'll go to the comedy club. And Matthew can get on stage for a bit. But I'll be there so we're together. And we can bring in the new year together. Um, that was the plan. It was a good plan. I mean, you have come to New Year shows of mine in the past. Before we had our daughter. But I was the headliner on those shows. And I'm a mess at shows and I got an hour on stage and I'm like, I'm, I'm physically in the room, but I'm not mentally in the room. He's I'm an mentally... entertainer, right? So it's, I'm backstage. It's his job. I pop in on her. So this year was supposed to be just, hey, we'll happen to go to a show. I'll hop up on stage for five minutes, but we will have, Still it'll be, be our New Year's. We had a nice restaurant reservation. Yeah, it was going to be nice. It was going to be great. And then unfortunately, uh, my parents who were going to take care of our daughter, my mom got sick and she thinks she has bronchitis and it was one of those things she's like you know what I mean I might be okay to take care of her and I have an upcoming surgery if you guys missed that I have an upcoming surgery on Friday and I don't want to risk getting sick and having my surgery get canceled so we were like you know what no it's okay we'll just plan B we'll just stay home and we'll play some trivia games and we'll eat some food and have some coffee and spend it with you guys and that's kind of what we decided to do so here yeah, we are we debated going live but apparently yeah. i tend to uh require more editing like i do the editing for her videos but usually it's just start stop done when i happen to show up as well uh less smooth so we i also got starbucks yeah so maybe starbucks. we do less of a live uh just do a recording yeah. Uh, spend the last few hours of 2023 together mm -hmm. with you, uh, play some games. I, I am also, if you watched the Christmas trivia episode, which I would have won. But you didn't. I, so. I got chips too. Yay. So the nice thing about this is I can end 2023 on a high note as a champion again. They're a little I've also, my New Year's resolution, no potato chips in like this Something has happened to me post-surgery. I, I know you've been seeing the video of uh, the Wellness Wednesdays, Melissa's bariatric journey. I've been on it. Something happened to me in, in mine where potato chips, french fries are like crack. I think it's just a mental thing. I don't know what it is. So I think it's I'm psychological. I'm trying to cut uh, potato chips out for 2024. 
Good so luck with that. Enjoy. This is the my last uh, video of. You know what? You torture me. You can show me this video of me eating a potato chip in like June. It sure. Horrible. So anyway, we're gonna do trivia. We yeah. have so many games. We got so many games at Christmas time. Mm. Some of these, I don't know if we're gonna be any good at them. They're really good. They're really good. Quite some of these. Um, they're the Miss Vicky's. Um. Oh, sweet chilies. Uh, no, they are. So. They're. Mm, they might be sweet chili. I don't know. They're really good. Something. There's. I don't know. They're a little spicy. Okay. Yes. So games we have. We've got Seinfeld trivia. Now you would think, being a stand-up, I would have seen Seinfeld Inside and Out. And as much as I've seen his specials, and I really admire him as a comedian, I have not seen the show a lot. Friends trivia. The Office trivia. Mm -hmm. We also have things. You won't believe the things you'll hear. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think it's trivia, but I don't know what it is. We have to pick your poison as well. Oh, where's that? It's over there. You oh, yeah. Go get, get that. that. Yes. Go get that while I tell them the rest. I'm going to eat some chips on the way. And then I got, I just got this. I don't think I showed you guys. I went to Value Village. Mm. 80s Night In. It includes trivia, hum that tune, charades, describe it, and shout out. It's all about the 80s. And I was born in 1980, and he was born way before that. Oh, way before. So this, we if, if should we, be good at this. If we play this, it's because I have been losing every game so far. We'll and see. And I will win that game. And this... And this one he got uh, for Christmas is called Pick Your Poison. It's kind of like a would you rather. Mm. So that might be kind of fun, too. Um, so let's start with something. Do you want to start with one of these, like an easy one? Like maybe the, the things. What's things? Oh, the things. Okay. I don't know what all, this is. All the shows, like we both watched The Office, the entire series together, but we haven't watched it in years. So I think any one of the TV shows is just going to be who happens to get a question they remember. This has got a whole thing. Or is thing. this, is, oh, it's got a whole thing. Humor in a box. Oh, oh, it's for four or more players. So I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we can oh. see. Is there a two player? Um, 107 topic cards response pad. If you would like to be on a future episode of us with us playing this. The can... true object of the game is laughter, but if you are concerned about winning, here's how you play. Pick a topic, have everyone write a response, take turns trying to guess who said what. Oh, that's not oh, going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, we're not going to do that. We're going to go back to what I said suggested, and we're going to do office trivia. All right. So we did watch The Office. Uh, for the most part, we watched it together. Yes. And we did, we did but watch... But it has been many years since we watched it. ...every episode of The Office at some point. So... We did uh, have a humorous uh, situation at one point. This We're just going to let this run. So um, I've got an ice cream. It's also one of my last ice creams of the year. So we're, just, gonna... we're just having fun tonight. We're just having fun. Happy This New is years. what we do. I'm going to just shuffle the cards a little bit here. So we watched The Office, and I... I'm, I'm a sales rep in my day job, so I jokingly said to Melissa, uh, which office character do you think I'm the most like? And I thought, okay, well, if she thinks that she loves me, she'll say, well, that's a fork. Um, if she loves me, she'll say Jim. If, you know, if she wants to be a bit more accurate with my sales, she'll say Michael Scott. I would have even gone for Dwight, seeing as how he, like, is a sales expert, even though he's uh, assistant Apple. to the assistant. Yeah, and you know what I got, Kevin. He's funny. I got Kevin. You're funny, Kevin's funny, funny. I've, I've, I'm still mad about it. This to this day, that I'm the most of of all the office people. I'm the most like it's Kevin. So, you if you if you've seen these videos and you think I'm like Kevin, comment below. I'm gonna enjoy my ice. Cream. Do you want some ice cream? No? Okay. So. All right. Um. It says there's an instruction card, okay. which is here. 53 cards. This is non-sponsored. Again, it says first team. Be the first team to collect 10 trivia cards. Break up into two teams. So I think I'll be a team and you can be a team. I'll be a team. Uh, it says come up with a fun team name. Matthew. Oh, a uh, fun team name. Uh, team. Uh, ice cream. Team ice cream. Um, and I'll be uh, team mm. always right. And uh, shuffle all the cards, which I did. Place them in the center face down. Which you did. You're not going to see it, but I'll put it right in the middle here. I can probably adjust you guys a little it's bit. the center, yeah. Um, you still can't see it, but that's fine. We'll move it back. 
They believe us that the I cards know, are right but there. They are there. I just want them to be able to see them. There. See, you can kind of see them. I show off right your tables what you're trying to show off. Um, so team with the youngest player, that's me, I go first. Um, have one and only one player from the opposing team, so that'll be you. Choose a card from the center, read the trivia question. If oh, I must give one answer. If I'm correct, I keep the card. Um, and then if incorrect, a player from the other team gets to steal. Gets we'll to steal, it, yeah. but yeah, because you'll see the answer, so, so we won't do that. Trivia. So yeah, just trivia, and then uh, once you get ten trivia cards, you win. So first person to ten. You get to keep going if you get it right, or does it switch? Um. Oh yeah, if you get it right, you keep going. Oh no, wait. Team keeps the card. If no team gets it right, cards discarded. Repeat gameplay until one team scores 10. It doesn't say, but I think you should be able to keep going. What do you think? I think this is a Melissa moment. I think you get as the... So you get to keep going. As your show, I think you get... By the way, that's why we're dressed up. Even yes. though we're here at home, we decided, you know what? It's New Year's. Let's dress up. We have hundreds of guests. We have hundreds of guests in another room waiting for us. We just thought, like, do you guys like this? That's... I got this from Burlington. I was about to say, like, everything you see in these videos, you've seen in another video. Burlington in Las Vegas. Uh, it was $29.99, $30. Regular $120 was the suggested retail price. So um, I wanted to go sparkly, and I'm very happy with it. So thank you for uh, joining us. Okay, please read me trivia. What about me? Oh, this is from Burlington as well. I picked this out for him. <gasps> what is your gift? How much? Uh, I believe it was twelve ninety nine. Um, so I think so. Usually about forty dollars. Yeah, yes. but that's not what I. Thought. All right. Okay, read me my trivia question. Oh, I'm excited. Don't put that like that. Your ice cream's gonna melt all over that, and it's gonna make a mess. Okay, here we go. Which on-screen kiss was improvised in the moment? Oh. It's a very famous uh, kiss. I'm gonna say Jim and Pam. No, Michael kissing Oscar. Oh, did not yes. know that. So this goes in the no one got it pile. Who called the bedroom her gym? Oh, uh, Meredith. Nope, it no, was the, too the late. redhead. Nope, it was Phyllis. You were completely oh, Phyllis. wrong. I was wrong both ways. Yep. We should have at least watched one episode. I haven't all seen the it in so long, again. you guys. On the wall of Meredith Mr. was the redhead. Yeah, I thought so. I got that right. <laughs> On the wall of Mr. Chu's Chinese restaurant, who was in a photo holding up a sign that said thief? Uh, I don't remember that scene or that episode. That episode was the one where Michael Scott went missing and somehow his girlfriend oh, was able to track him. Oh, I remember him. that one. Oh, he probably went that way. Oh, he probably um, would have went in there. Who was holding up a sign that said thief? I'm yeah. going to say... There was a wall of pictures of people yeah. who had okay. been thieves. Can I give my answer? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to say it was... Um... Um... Or do this to myself. I give her too much What's help. his name? Uh, the guy that... Uh... This is dead air right here. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his character name, and I can't remember the actor's name. It was uh, the guy from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the muff with blue. So what was his name? Andy. Ed, Ed Andy. 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 I'm going to say it was Andy. No, it was Creed. Oh, I forgot about Creed. Right. I forgot about creepy old guy. Okay. This could be the only game we play tonight. Who thought that every word out of Gabe's mouth was, quote, like the squawk of an ugly pelican, end quote? I don't remember any of these. Uh, well, Gabe, who everyone hated Gabe. Uh, probably Dwight. It was Aaron. Oh. We well, make it Aaron, through this whole deck well, no. without a single one right. I, when you said the voice of Gabe, I was going to go with Aaron, but then, like, Angry Pelican. That didn't make sense. I don't know. Who stole Meredith's... Blah, 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 who stole Meredith's painkillers in the hospital? In the hospital? Yeah, because Michael Scott hit, him, hit her with his car. Uh, See, and when that comes back to be a question later, like it did in the Christmas one. You talk too much. Um, who stole her painkiller? I'm going to say Creed again. I got one, and I keep going. Oh, yes. 
Who got strangled by the Scranton Strangler when he visited him in jail? Dwight. Toby. Toby. I forgot about Toby. I forget about Toby. Um, who pretended to be Lloyd Gross, a fictional salesman who was invented to get around the sales commission cap when an angry Syracuse, Syracuse branch employee confronted Scranton? Wow, that's a mouthful. I believe that was a combination of Jim and Dwight. Uh, one answer, please. Oh, then Dwight. No, it was Toby. Oh. I, who knew? I did not know. Boy, we are showing our audience. We don't know anything about At it. At the Scranton Humane Society fundraiser, who ended up adopting 12 dogs in a fit to upstage Robert, the senator? Angela. No, it was Andy. Mm. Well, at least we're getting through these quick. Mm-hmm. We did watch the whole series. Who was finally able, I'm going to have to have a drink, these are spicy, to don the Santa suit, thoroughly pissing Michael off? Who was able to finally? Finally. Who was finally able to don the Santa suit, thoroughly pissing Michael off? Uh, finally able to. Jim? No, it was Phyllis. Oh. Can you grab me the tea towel? I just have lipstick all over my water bottle. And can you actually grab me a glass as well, please? My water bottle is just, my lipstick is coming off and it's making a mess. Thank you. Tune in for episode four, The Office Trivia. Mm. All right. I made myself a root beer. It's not real root beer, though. It's just water flavored like root beer. I get it from the States, and it's amazing. You've seen I that in a previous video. This is kind of, like, it's kind of neat. For a New Year's, it's kind of like an overview of our whole year of other things we've done. Did you see I also got sparkly coasters that was a Boxing Day deal? I'm very excited about those, too. Who thought Dunder Mifflin was a dog food company? Oh. Um. Ooh, we're gonna chill. Some more. I don't know. I don't know. Take a guess. Uh, I'm gonna say um, AJ or what was his name? The young hip guy. No, it was Creed again. Oh. I think just if you always answer Creed, mm, you, you might will get win. to ten just by. Mm. Just by, because yours always seem to be Creed. Who kept a list of everyone who wronged him? Oh, uh, Dwight. It was Ryan, apparently. Oh. Yeah, I guess he did. Okay. All right. Oh, that's me now. I don't eat my ice cream. Who was nicknamed Plop by Andy? Why don't I remember this? Andy named the new guys. It was one of the new guys. Ryan. Oh, it was Pete. Who's Pete? It was like, that was New Dwight. There was New Dwight and New Jim. I don't remember. Closer to the end of the series. Mm. Who did Dwight think takes 50 minutes to style his hair? None of these are ringing a bell. I see uh, the answers and I'm still why, like, why, hey. don't, why don't they like pick the ones we all know? Like, uh, who does his hair? Gabe. Jim. Oh. This is... Are they you said, guys getting any of these? When they said trivia, people at home are like, Yo, wow! <laughs> Who was obsessed with acapella and was a member of Here Comes Treble? Right, Andy. There we go. See how that strikes me as a, as a legitimate get. office question. Mm -hmm. It's upside down. Who wanted Cheese Whiz to put on his broccoli? Andy. No, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Anything food related is mm. going to be Kevin. The guy I'm most like. Mm. Because I'm eating ice cream. Who wanted people to be afraid of how much they love him? Michael Scott. Yep, Michael. You got, finally got one. Weird that it was this long for Michael Scott to be the answer. 
who wore a fake mustache and said, quote, bye Stanley, I love you, end quote, during a series of pranks that proved Stanley never noticed anything. Phyllis. Pam. Oh, I knew it was a girl. Mm. They're practically the same character. Who wanted to own a decommissioned lighthouse that could launch into space? Do you know that one? Because I don't, but I'm going to say Michael because it seems weird. Oh, Stanley again. Oh. You wanted to get away from everyone. Mm. Who did Michael think was the smartest person in the office? Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh, That's tough. Uh, Oscar. Yeah, you're right. Mm. I think oh, we're tied now. Who played Voodoo Mama Juju, the witch doctor, in the murder game played at the office? Meredith. Angela. I'm going to put the chippies here. All right. The new star of Melissa Moment is the Chippies. Mm. Who is Dwight dressed like when he started attacking Jim in the office with snowballs? So this I remember. A lot of the ones you've been getting, I knew. Mm. Was he dressed like? Mm -hmm. A snowman? No, Pam. Oh. She so thought it was all. Pam and then he whooped him. Mm. Who referred to golf betting games as, quote, skins... AC, Ducey, Bingo, Bango, Bongo, Sandy's, Barkies, and Wolf, end quote. Kevin. Kevin, yeah, you're right. Who dressed up as a sexy nurse for the Halloween contest? I might have. Oh. Um, oh, uh, Angela. Yeah, you're a roll. At Stonewall Alliance Trivia Night, who wrote, quote, the California Raisins, end quote, instead of the Grapes of Wrath as the answer? Kevin. Yep. Somebody got there. Oh, you're at five. You're halfway there. Woo. Who told Michael to, quote, start over, end quote, after Michael called him an idiot? Michael called him an idiot. Yeah. And someone said, start, start over. over. Um, the boss, the CEO. The suck it guy? Yeah. I don't remember his name. Well, as long as it's not that one on the card. No. Who was it? Daryl. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. Doug, Judy. <laughs> Who thought the phrase euthanize this place meant adding youthful energy into the office? Andy. No, Michael. Oh. Michael was the one that always made goofs like that. Hey, chippies. Mm. <laughs> we were just on a video of us eating snacks. Well, that's what you do on New Year's, right? You munch on things and drink juice and... Play games and... Mm, how's your juice? It's root beer, but it's all right. Um, who, thanked the, who thanked the Scranton Strangler for taking, quote, one more person's breath away, end quote? Toby. No, it was Michael. Oh. Oh, no, my turn. You gotta be oh, yeah. yeah. All right, how the chips? Who actually thought up the idea for Woof? Ryan's social media platform. Oh. Um Ooh, spicy. Gabe. Kelly. Uh, I was gonna say it was Mindy's character. Darn it. Couldn't remember her name. Big Mindy Kaling fan. To whom did Dwight want to give a post apocalypse quote knapsack filled with canned goods, chainsaw, gasoline, and emergency radio, end quote, in case they woke up. Meredith. D'Angelo? Oh, yeah, that's right. Who's D'Angelo? That was Will Ferrell. Oh, right, yeah. when he took yeah. over. See, See like, I tuned out on those. He was like three episodes, and I got that one. I tuned out on those. Uh, 
who has been trying to get on jury duty every year since he was 18 years old so he can sit in an air-conditioned room downtown judging people at, with paid lunch? Stanley. Yeah, so you can give enough detail like that. Go on. Oh. Why is it every time I want a chip I have to do a work? Who was planking on top of the cabinet in Andy's office? Remember when planking was a thing? That was like a week. Dwight. No, it was Kelly. Ah. Now I get a chip. When trying to prove his foot dexterity, who dumped a mug of hot coffee into his lap? Michael. Dwight. Oh. I remember that one. Who sneezed in Pam's tea and then said, don't worry, it's just allergies? Who sneezed Kevin. in Pam's... No, Michael. Ah! We may not get to ten. We're over two-thirds of the way through the deck. Who thought the phrase was, quote, not to be truffled with, end quote, instead of not to be trifled with? Michael. Yep. Yeah, he gets all the phrases. Okay, right. you're on the next set of five here. All right. Aside from Michael, who else had a world's best boss mug on his desk? Andy. David. That's the suck it guy. Oh. David the suck it guy. Mm -hmm. Who created a chore wheel and had no chores when the custodian went on vacation for a month? Jim. Oh, Pam did that. Mm. Yeah, not a lot of Jim answers or Pam mm. answers. Who was the secretary of Knights of the Night? Who was the secretary of Knights of the Night? Yeah, Knights of the Night. Knights as in, like, jousting Knights of the Night. Probably Dwight. Mm-hmm. Three more. When interviewing for the manager position, who said... She was, quote, not easy to manage, end quote. Meredith. Kelly. Oh, yeah. I only have three, you guys. Who hit Dwight in the face with a snowball during a dusting? Jim. Right. I got four now. So she complains out loud. I was going to need a chip. Nope. Who started the fire, prompting Dwight to rewrite the Billy Joel song? Dwight. No, Ryan. <laughs> uh, Who refers to fun. Michael, Dwight, and Andy as, quote, that jackass, the other jackass, and that new jackass, end quote? Creed. Bob Vance of Vance Refrigeration. Oh, yeah. That's obscure. Mm-hmm. Who was only a little situitous? I don't even know what that word means. Citidious. I'll say Andy. No, Michael. Uh, S-T-I-T-I-O-U-S. So it's a mispronunciation of something else. Which I probably mispronounced the mispronunciation. Which character was fired in the second season during downsizing and rehired in the last episode? Ryan. Devin. I don't know who Devin is. Who is Devin? Was that the IT Devon. guy? Devon, Devin. Oh, it must have been one of the office guys. I don't know. It wasn't, uh, not the office guys, the warehouse guys. Mm -hmm. Who got lost in Dwight's corn maze? Michael? No, nope, Kevin. Ah. Uh, We're not going to get to 10. We are almost out of questions. Michael, you only need three more. I got to run the table here pretty quick. Who's Dundee said, quote, Bushiest beaver, end quote, when it should have said, quote, busiest beaver, end quote. Pam. Phyllis. Oh, I was going to say Phyllis, but then I was like, bushiest <laughs> I don't beaver. I remember that. That's probably, I mean. <laughs> Who said to Andy, talk to me that way again, and I'll cut your face off? Dwight. Aaron. Ah. Oh, Aaron's kind of terrifying now that I... See her again. Who confessed that Stanley yelling at him was one of the most frightening experiences in his life? Michael. Ryan. Ugh. We're not doing well, you guys. There's a few left. I, you gotta, need, I don't I know. I can do it. 
Who told Angela that the only premature baby in the room was the one her baby ate? <laughs> Dwight? Oscar. Oh. That's a good one. Okay, we gotta, I, gotta, yeah, I gotta nail these you all You can now. do it. Who would rather work for an, quote, upturned broom with a bucket for a head, end quote, than work for somebody else in the office besides himself? I would rather work for a bucket with an... Upturned uh, broom uh, with a bucket, bucket for a head than work for somebody else in the office besides himself. You get three more. You can do it. Dwight. Nope, it was Stanley. There's no way I can win, you guys. I only have four right, and we're down to like four cards. Who is going to try to make Michael cry during the roast? Andy. Oscar. Ah. Okay, there's three cards left, so I you need three all three. three. Who became the receptionist and loved it? While most of the office was in Florida at Sabre for training. Uh, Kevin. Andy. Okay, so whoever has the most, so you're probably going to win. Well, no, I was like, you were saying, well, no one got to 10, so no, no one wins. No, Who couldn't deal with how coddled the modern anus was? White? Daryl. Oh. This, is, this, I don't know. Last this one. Who does Michael refer to as, quote, booster seat, end quote, <sighs> when he wanted her to stop talking? Angela. Yes. So you win because you got eight, and I only have four. And that we was a didn't tough get trivia. All of those. That was tough. Like those other trivia games, we're like, we'll leave all the other ones for another game. Those were obscure. If you would like to receive this signed copy of the Office Trivia as a present, because we will not be playing it again. Please send one dollar to. No, yeah. <laughs> that's just joking. We'll do most likes oh, to comments. My we'll mail this out as a you souvenir. Guys. Crazy. How's your new year going? How's how's twenty twenty four? Hopefully it's good. Nice. Okay. I can't look at these cards in the box again. Okay, well that game went so well. Um should we continue with uh Seinfeld trivia or Friends trivia? I'll do worse. I, I Office was the only one I'd actually seen the whole series of. So you pick. It's your show. Let's do Friends because I have watched Friends, but not every episode. Um, so, oops. Plus, so, I mean, did we lose Matthew Perry this year? Yeah, we lost so, Matthew Perry this year. Well, we'll watch him. I like Matthew Perry. He was funny. Okay. Good chips. All right. I made a big mistake saying I'm going to give up chips. Don't take my chips away. Um, so let's just say whoever gets the most. Or ten. Or ten. Ten or the most if we go through the day. But considering how well we did on The Office, I, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. You go first this time. You should have done the Trivial Pursuit. Where's the Trivial Pursuit? I don't know. Okay. Um, Oscar. Monica accuses who of stealing her jeans? Uh, You're not going to get any of these. Monica. Have Phoebe. you seen Friends? Yeah, there's three girls Monica, Phoebe, and Roxanne. No. You should at least know their names. Monica, Phoebe, and. Jennifer Addison played her character. Yeah, what was the other one? Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Who are the guys' names? Chandler, Joey. And? and David Schwimmer. Ross. Ross. Uh, so I'm picking Rachel. Nope. The cleaning woman Chandler hires. Oh. Yeah, we're in trouble. Mm-hmm. I took that long to figure out the names. How did Ross respond to the statement, I said count to five? 
Oh my gosh, I don't know. You guys, this is horrible. I don't know. That's where you tell me the answer. Oh, Mississippi Lisley. Mississippi Lisley? Chandler makes up what card game so Joey could win his money back from Foosball? I think we should skip these. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. Cups. Okay. Let's yeah. go on to Seinfeld trivia. This is not going well, you guys. We gotta watch these shows again. Yeah. And then we'll play it again. Later on, we'll be playing Tic Tac Toe, the one game where we know someone will win. Oh. Okay. Where is oh there it is okay. Wow, that was embarrassing. Well, all that meant was like we had friends and we were very social and popular and didn't have time to watch TV. Sure. Right. Okay, Seinfeld trivia. Now these should be easier for me. You not so much because oh, you haven't oh, seen oh, it. Oh, Sorry, oh, Jerry. Oh. Mm. I have watched a lot of Jerry Seinfeld, just not the show Seinfeld. It's not like it was popular or anything. It's very Do you funny. want me to ask you first? It's your show. You pick. Okay, I'll ask you first. Jerry. Oh, well, you should know this. What's Jerry's occupation? I'm wondering how long you want me. Stand up comedian. Comedian, yes. That was, you get to go this, again. That was easy. Which character once worked as the traveling secretary for a famous baseball team? Do you know the characters oh, in was, the show uh, Seinfeld? That was uh, uh, Jason Alexander. That was. Um, you don't know the characters' names. No, no. Uh, 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 I do. I got blanking. I had too much uh, uh, iced tea. Um, Oh my gosh, the Larry David character. Uh, George. Yep. Whew, that was go. a sweat. <laughs> Are Kramer and Elaine related? Yes. Nope. I didn't think they were, but it was just, you know, it was like a weird question. I was like, wow, well, yeah, they don't really. How many different actors portrayed Morty Seinfeld on the show? So I know that. Morty Seinfeld, how many actors? I'm going to say, I want to say one, but I'm going to say two. That's right. Yeah, it was a different dad the first year. Yay, I got one. In the episode where the group lost their car in a parking garage, I remember that. what large purchase is Kramer carrying? I remember him having a big box. I remember Elaine having a bag with a goldfish in it. And he had a TV. Air conditioner. Ah, I knew it was a big box. Oh, well. In what episode does Kramer invent his ocean cologne, The Beach? They want to know the name of the episode. Oh, I don't know. The Beach. The Pick. The Pick. All right, I'm going to ask you more than make a glass of water. What is the name of the episode where Kramer sculpts Jerry out of pasta? I don't know the episode. Oh, hang on. Um... It's a play on his name with the pasta. Jerry Fusili. The Fusili Jerry. Oh, you I got, got it. it. So it was, I was like something. Okay, cool. Yay. Who is the only main character to maintain the same career throughout the series? Jerry. Well, I got three, guys. How many episodes aired without Kramer in them? Five. No. To uh, the pen and the Chinese restaurant. Mm. I need to get a glass of water. Keep going. I can. Add, add, I will answer. Okay. Well, maybe I want to. I want to drink too. So. Oh, what would you like? Well, I don't know. I was thinking like more root beer, but there's none made. Unless it's just like tea in that container, right? In the fridge, there's a you made up something. Yes, there's some iced tea. No, I don't want that. Do you want another root beer? I can make you root beer. Um. No, uh, actually, give me some eggnog. That'd be great. Eggnog. Let's nog it up. With ice, please. Uh, ice nog. Because I like ice. Ask me a question while I ice nog. Is it your turn or my turn? My turn to answer. She missed the, uh, the uh, Kramer equipment. Oh, yeah. Okay. No peeking. 
How many different care actors portrayed Frank Costanza on the show? Two. That's right. Two. Going again. In how many episodes did Newman appear throughout the series run? Oh, jeez. That's a lot. Eight. Forty-seven. I grossly underestimated. Especially after I said, that's a lot. Well, for some eight's a lot. Hmm. I'm going to unwrap this game while I wait for you. How many episodes of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show, did your husband appear in? One. Right. Did you guys know that? He was a famous actor. My husband. Yeah. You know, the one you couldn't remember the website of earlier? Well, you have so many different handles and stuff. I didn't know what you wanted me to say. Matthew, Matthew Murray. Murray. Comic Matt Murray. Matthew Murray dot C-A. Like, there's so many things. Comedian Matthew Murray. I don't know. Forgot handsome Matthew Murray. I don't think that takes you to the right website. Delicious Matthew Murray. I can't Murray. open that. I tried. That's okay. fine. Yay! Okay. Cheers. We're noggin'. Mm. Did you... Is this that will long? actually help with, um... No, this will actually help with, uh, the spicy chips. All right. In the episode The Package, Newman shows his business card. What's his first name on it? Paul. Ah, no, there is no first name. It just reads Newman. Newman, like share. Fun. Okay. What's the title of the one Seinfeld episode that does not begin with the word the? Hmm, interesting. I don't think you'll get this. Cause... Oh, pilot. No. But, yeah. Good guess. No, I think pilot even said the pilot. Oh. Uh, male unbonding. Oh. Good guess, though. Yeah, it is a good guess. My nose is running. In the episode The Subway, which subway line were the friends riding? I don't know names of subways. 1A? No, the 5. Oh. I know because I've been to New York. Yeah, I have not. Twice. Jerry adjusts the waist number on his jeans from 32 to what? 30. Close. It was 31. There is no 31. No. That must be the joke. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh. Which of the four main characters never has an inner monologue? Kramer. Right. I got four, you guys. We're instantly doing better than we did at uh, Office. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any of this. What famous Seinfeld prop is in the Smithsonian? Famous prop from Seinfeld. The Festivus tree? Good guess, mm -hmm. but no, the puffy shirt. Oh, the puffy shirt. I knew that. Good guess, though. In the episode The Stranded, where in New York were Jerry and Elaine stranded after a party? This is an emergency. Oh, reminder. Garbage out and check the traps. There you oh, go. Take the garbage, garbage out. out. Um, the Hamptons. Oh, Long Island. Oh, Long, Long Island. Island. Yeah. All of our fans from Long Island are like, shut up, we don't sound like that. Which episode was the first shot with no audience? I don't know. Pilot? No, the parking garage. Oh. I would have guessed the Chinese restaurant. What main character was featured in the pilot but not seen again? Oh, the, the waitress. Doris? I'm going to give it to you. You got the name wrong, but it is a waitress. A waitress named Claire. Claire. I did not know that. I'm yes. going to give it to you, though. They were going to have the waitress was going to be in the mm. thing was going to be a part of the show. Whose entrances in scenes had directors asking the audience not to applaud so much? Kramer. During the characters. Or, yep. Yeah, because he was, was going. screwing it up. In what year did Seinfeld first air? 92. 89. Oh, I thought it was the 80s, but 89. then I thought maybe I'm just old. Well, 
How many jobs did George hold through the nine seasons of Seinfeld? Oh my gosh. I let my gray hair out now that you call me old. I'm going to say nine. Mm, Twelve. Ah, I knew it was a lot. Yeah, and for the record, there's nothing wrong with having 12 different jobs. I've had 12 different jobs. What was the name of Kramer's lawyer who also was considered for his own spin-off show? Hmm. I don't know. Kramer. Jackie Childs? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, I remember. I mean, he was a parody of the uh, um, Jesse Jackson. The wardrobe was intentionally made one size too big for which character? Kramer. Right. Yay, I have five now. I'm tied, tied with you. Keep going, please. Which cast member appears in all 180 episodes? Jerry. That's the third one they've given. Well, they Keep gave going. me the Jerry comedian one. So it's... Yay! What street did Jerry live on? Fifth Avenue. No, oh, it's a street. I don't know. Let's read. Tell me the answer. Oh, West Eighty First. Thank you. <laughs> like, well, then, oh, are you going to share guess. with us? How many seasons did Seinfeld run? Nine. Okay. That's famous. He's big on nines. For how many seasons did the show begin and end with "Stand Up" from Jerry? Four. Three. You were uh, close. We're tied still, six and six. Who was Lloyd Braun working for when he sold computers? I don't know. Frank Costanza. Ah, uh, I didn't know. The wardrobe was intentionally made one size too small for what character? George. Yep. We've got seven. True or false? 50-50 here. The show's opening music is different in every episode. True. Ooh, you got eight now. Which character was originally named Kessler? Kramer. Yeah, one more for the win. Who appears in the most episodes after Jerry, Kramer, Elaine, and George? Newman. Yes, you won. Yay. That was good. And look, we still have some of the deck left on that one. So that's uh, fun. All right. All right. All right. Well, that one was much better. Yes. Much better. Which just goes to show you just how much more memorable a show is, Seinfeld. I mean, don't, I like The Office, but the, the talk to the camera... Docu mockumentary. It's hard to remember those. Yeah, it's good in the moment. Yay, that was fun. That was good. Okay, so would you want to do your pick your poisons now? Your, your right. game over there? Sure. Is this my game? Yeah. The what would you rather do party game. And Yay. this is a... Should you put some party... Are you going to have some chips or are you done? I'm, I can't. Okay. I have to stop. Pick your poison. Oh, and keep the party going with all these other games we don't own. Hey, maybe if this is really good, this is a non-plug, but maybe if it's good, the makers of Pick Your Poison, Dice, D-Y-C-E, feel free to send us all your other games, and we'd be happy to do. Yeah, you're currently not a sponsor, but yes. we'd love to have you as one. Yes, and then we would... Uh... Okay. All right. We got a note. Pad, score pad. Did you find the instructions? Yes, I have the instructions. Oh, I think there's a, Read them. I think there's a board. There's a there's board? A, I think there's a something here. Figure out what that is. All right, objective. Each round, combine two poison cards to create a difficult decision. No, it's not a board. Pick the same poison card as the majority of the other players to score. Well, we only okay. have two people. Well, what we can do is uh, two poison cards to make a tough decision. We can guess what the other person would pick. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll try. We're trying. Uh, all players should start the game with the following nine card. Oh, six poison cards, two pick cards, and one double. I don't think it'll work that way. Uh, I think we shouldn't play the game as they want us to. I think we should just ask each other what. What would you rather? All right. 
All right, and then we that? can discuss we'll it, it as we go. We'll, we'll let's discuss. just look at one card to get an idea. Let's talk about that. That was her thing oh. that she likes. Oh, I see. So you picked two cards. So would you rather do this or this, right? Okay. Is that what, right. how it works? Okay. Yes. All right. So you hit me first. Okay. So let's just, yeah, let's All just right. talk about it. All right. Let's have a conversation. Ugh, okay. This could end badly. So pick your poison. All right. Would you rather have no access to money for the next six weeks? Oh, oh wow. Or whistle for your waiter's attention whenever you need something when you're out to eat. Now, before you answer... Do you want me to say what I think you're going to say? No. Okay. Right. We'll just talk about so it. So for the rest of my life. Whistle for uh, your waiter's attention whenever you need something when you're out to eat or have no access to money for the next six weeks. Well, okay. Six weeks without money. Does it be the next six weeks of today? Yes. For the next okay. six weeks. Well, I'm headed to Vegas in two weeks. So I'm kind of going to need money. But I don't want to whistle... Really? Because you're pretty obnoxious when you go to restaurants. Anywhere. I am not. Am I really? Yep. Really? Mm hmm What if I do this obnoxious? Yeah, here we go. Anytime you need something, you're like... That's what they're... They're waiters! I know I'm not obnoxious about it. I try to make eye contact with them, and I'm just like... That's, that's the gesture. 